What is going on guys? In this video today, we are going to be walking you through where everything is located in the Tempe, Arizona area. So that way when you're researching and figuring out where you want to live, you already have a great idea of what Tempe, Arizona has to offer and where things are located in the proximity to the rest of Phoenix. So without further ado, let's hop into my computer and get after it. If this is your first time visiting the channel, we cover everything there is to know about living, drinking, sleeping, and enjoying your best life here in Phoenix, Arizona. And my name is Eric and I work with eXp Realty as a licensed real estate agent. And I get calls and texts from people just like you every single day that are thinking about making a move to the greater Phoenix area. So if you are thinking about making a move, whether it's in you know seven days or seven months or even seven years down the road, uh, feel free to reach us via call or text or send us an email and we will be sure to get you taken care of and to help make your transition to the beautiful and sunny Phoenix Valley as smooth as possible. So like I mentioned at the top of the video, I will hop into my computer and uh, walk you through everything there is to know about Tempe, Arizona. All right, guys, so Tempe, Arizona. If you haven't checked out my other videos of Scottsdale, Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler, uh, go ahead and check those areas out as we cover every city here in the Valley. But starting here with Tempe, Arizona. So as you can see, guys, you know I'm big on location and Tempe, Arizona has by far, guys, I've talked a lot about the Chandler location and the Scottsdale location, but Tempe, I think, has them all beat. You have so many major highways running right through it, and there's just so much going on and so much happening in the Tempe area. So as you can see, just right away, right, it's super, super, super close to downtown Phoenix and Sky Harbor Airport. Now, again, Sky Harbor Airport is the main airport if you are going to be flying in and out of here. So if you'd like to travel a lot, it is super easy to get to. There's two areas to get into the airport. So Tempe is in an amazing location in that aspect. Tempe is also in a really good location if you need to get anywhere else in the valley, right? So as you can see, Interstate 10, this is one of the major highways that comes through the Phoenix metro area. And it goes basically right through the heart of Tempe. It's super easy to get to. And it's just, it's in such a good location. You also have this uh, Highway 143. Now they're actually right now, they're going through a huge construction project to make this interchange even bigger, better, and uh, smoother. So right in this intersection is where they're doing all the construction. And then, um, you know, we also have interstate or highway 101. So we also have highway 101 going through the east side of Tempe. And again, highway 101, as you can see, it is kind of the lifeline of the Phoenix Valley because you can get all the way up into Surprise and Peoria all the way through there if you need to, up through Scottsdale and Northern Scottsdale. But you can also get down through Chandler and Gilbert. And if you need to get to Mesa Gateway, uh, that's another airport on the east side. So it's just super nice that uh, you have that major highway going on the east of it. So you got Highway 10, Interstate 10 on the west, 101 on the east. And then you also have Highway 60 kind of splitting Tempe in half. And again, this is just, a, it's a huge highway. There's five or six lanes on each side. So uh, location and accessibility in and out of Tempe cannot, cannot, cannot go understated, guys. Um, but there's just so much happening here in the Tempe, Arizona area. With Tempe, you got to start. If you cannot mention Tempe, Arizona and Arizona State University without the same breadth. So uh, as you can see, as we start scrolling in here, so you have downtown Tempe, it goes right through this Mill Avenue. And this is a really busy street. There's all kinds of bars, restaurants, uh, tons of tons of tons of good food, great entertainment down here. You got live music everywhere. There's movie theaters. There is everything you ever need uh, for entertainment space here in the downtown Tempe area. And then just on the east side is one of many campuses that ASU has. They have this campus. They have a downtown Phoenix campus. They have a Glendale campus. They have a Gilbert. They're all over. So if you're going to Arizona State, uh, you got to figure out which campus you're going to be at. Um, but this is the main one, and this is where all the sporting events are and everything like that. So as you can see, you got Sun Devil Stadium. And what's really cool about Sun Devil Stadium is it's kind of built into the side of this Hayden Butte or A Hill. It's right built into the side of it. Um, so if, it's a really good hike if you're in the area and uh, you need something to do. But uh, just provides a really, really cool, you know, scenic outlook of planes flying in. You can see Papago Buttes. You can see um camelback mountain you can see psl peak there's all kinds of great views up there um so that's a really really good hiking spot it is a little steep uh, i gotta tell you this story so one of our friends she was in town for a bachelorette party and on sunday uh, we took her hiking and uh, she was struggling to say the least it's not that hard of a hike but she was she was dying it was uh it's, it was a really good memory but so if you're in the tempe area 
Uh, Got to go check out the Hayden Butte area. And honestly, just Arizona State's campus in general. Man, if I would have toured there when I was going in college, there is no question where I would have gone. It is so beautiful. There's palm trees everywhere. Uh, they got like kind of covered area so that the sun is not so hot. Um, had a couple friends go to Arizona State. I don't know how you study at all when there's that meaning, you know, pretty views and outdoor and there's just so much to do here on the Arizona State campus. So as you can see, this does take a majority up of the northern Tempe area. And again, there's all kinds of different things that uh, are around the university that Tempe does have to offer. But you can't mention, you know, like I said at the top, you can't mention Tempe, Arizona and Arizona State without in the same breath. Now, one really nice thing that downtown Tempe has as well is it has a light rail system. Now, it doesn't go throughout the entire city like if you were coming from New York or Boston or D.C., um, but as you can see, it does come through kind of the heart of the city. So if you live and if you need to go to downtown, for example, right, downtown Phoenix, or you need to go to the airport, as you can see, this light rail is kind of a faint line. This light rail goes right, right, right to the west. So if you ever want to go downtown, it's super easy to get to. You don't even need a car. Uh, you can just hop on that light rail and take it all the way down into the central part of downtown. Uh, and then it does continue all the way out to the east as well. So uh, there's plenty of good stuff around here, plenty of really, really good food around this the campus you know that's a college campus so there's going to be good food here gus's new york pizza is terrific and obviously you got you know raisin canes and uh food like that so if we scroll out a little bit uh like i said we can't we won't focus too much time here on the arizona state campus but want to give you a holistic view of what tempe arizona has to offer so if you when you come into tempe it's really 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 pretty uh they have all all these buildings right here are all you know large, large, large office buildings, and they do have some apartments that are going up as well, but just provides a really, really beautiful view over the Tempe Town Lake. And the Tempe Town Lake is a man-made structure, and it is really cool. You can you can run along this. There's some really good running trails. There's good biking trails down there, um, and you can also rent like little paddle boards and paddle boats. And uh, so you can also rent you know some paddle boards and paddle boats and uh, just soak in the views of the middle of the city and you're just floating down here on the Tempe Town Lake. So that's a couple really, really good things to do if you're in the area. And if you're in the downtown area, got to go check out Tempe Town Lake. Now for other things to do in the Tempe, Arizona area, uh, just north of here, you've got Papago Hills and Papago Park. Now Papago is uh, it's in the city of Phoenix, but again, it's so close to Tempe that we have to mention it. Uh, there's all kinds of things to do. There's a zoo, and uh, if you ever go to the zoo, you've got to go there at night. Uh, they do. They light up the zoo. It's really, really cool. Uh, and it's just a really, really fun experience for everybody involved. But outside of that, Hole in the Rock is a really cool spot to go check out and to go hike. It's super easy. It's super very, very short hike. But uh, it's just this literally a hole in the rock. And you can sit there. You can watch the planes fly in. Uh, you have some beautiful views of downtown Tempe, downtown Phoenix, and uh, South Mountain. So really good spot to watch the sunset and a really good date spot as well the botanical gardens is another really really cool spot that you got to check out if you're in the papago area the second tuesday of every month uh they do have free entry you have to sign up a couple weeks in advance um but they do have free entry so if you're into you know the gardens and into that kind of thing uh definitely go check out the botanical gardens and then i saved the best for last you guys know i love to golf in papago golf club if you are in the area you absolutely have to play it this is asu's home course and if you haven't, uh, if you haven't played it in a while, ASU bought it a couple of years, a handful of years ago, and it used to be owned by the city. ASU came in, they put a boatload of money in. Uh, they have a restaurant there. They have a really cool patio area. So if you need a bite to eat, uh, go check out Lou's at Papago Golf Club. But man, this is just an amazing course. It is by far one of my favorites. Uh, if you can play it in the summer, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, in the winter, it does get a little bit expensive. But man, if you're in the area, Papago Golf Course. And Papago Golf Club is by far one of my favorites. Another good golf course down here is Rolling Hills. It's more of an executive course. They do have 18 holes, but uh, it's not a full, you know, 18 of par three, fours, and fives. Uh, they just have threes and fours. But again, just really, really pretty views of the Papago Buttes and everything right there. And the nice thing is how close you are to uh, the downtown Tempe area. So a lot to do in this downtown Tempe area. And like I said, they do have uh, a lot of apartments down here. They do have some condos, but not as many as you would think for a downtown area. Uh, but again, all this 
south side of Tempe Town Lake. This is all commercial buildings, and it is really, really pretty to see at night. So, so another thing that Tempe has that is uh, really cool that you got to go check out is the Tempe Marketplace. Now, this is as it's a marketplace, right? There's all kinds of different shops here and restaurants and stores, but uh, it's really, really cool. They light it up uh, really pretty at night. And uh, as you can see, there's just all kinds of different food here, guys. It's really, really cool. It's really, really a nice spot and uh, really good shopping there as well. So a couple food options that you have to try if you are in the Tempe Marketplace is uh, there is a place called the Thirsty Line Gastropub. It's right on here on the west side. It is very, very, very good food. Um, that's the spot you got to go check out. The Keg Steakhouse is terrific. Barrio Queen is amazing. Uh, Lucy's Barbecue. Oh, man, there's so many good food and restaurant options here, guys, that you definitely, definitely got to go check out. Uh, Portillo. So this was one of the first places that when we came and visited in Phoenix that we went and checked out. Um, I didn't know this when I moved down. There's a ton of Chicago influence and there's a ton of Chicago restaurants. This is a Chicago fast food spot. Uh, they have really, really amazing food. Um, so if you are in the area, you got to go check out Portillo's. It is so, so good. And then on the flip side of that is uh, Spinato's Pizza. It's kind of a, we had it as a thin crust. It is really, really good. It's one of my favorite pizza joints down here in the Phoenix Metro. So if you go to Spinato's, they have a handful of, you know, different locations throughout the Valley. And fortunately, they have one here in the Tempe area. Now, this is going to be over in Mesa, technically. But uh, we got to touch on it because it's so close is Sloan Park. Uh, this is the Cubs spring training. As you guys know, spring training is a huge deal here down here in Phoenix. So uh, the Cubs is one of the most popular and uh, they just have a really, really cool collection of, you know, shops around it. And it's just a really, really good game day experience here at Sloan Park. So just on the east side of Tempe. Now, speaking of minor league stadiums, we're going to go on the west side over here to Tempe Diablo Stadium. This is really, really pretty. This is where the Angels have their spring training and it is built, there's a couple little buttes here and uh, little mountains here that is built right into the side too. Really, really amazing spot to uh, watch a game. So if you're in the area, go check out uh, Tempe Diablo Stadium. Now, just in general of Tempe, you know, kind of who lives here, obviously there's a lot of college students and there's actually a lot, there's a lot of students that once they graduate, they do stay in kind of that Tempe area. About 25% of the entire population is under the age of 38. So there's a lot of young people that live here in the Tempe area and just proximity to where campus is. Uh, most of this Northern Tempe area is all going to be, you know, a lot of college rentals. So if you're moving to the area, it's definitely something to think about. Um, but moving in to is this Shalimar district. I got to give this uh, this little golf course, this little nine hole golf course, a shout out. Uh, one of my best friends, his uncle is the general manager here. And uh, Shalimar does some really cool things. So it's a nine hole golf course, but they also have foot golf. So if you're into some foot golf, you got to go check out uh, the Shalimar neighborhood. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, the Tempe housing. So about 25% of all of the active listings are under the price of 400000 here in Tempe. So the average single family home. So if you were going to buy, you know, just a standalone home, that's about 570000 So a little bit cheaper than, you know, some of the areas in uh, Chandler and Gilbert. However, there are other options here in Tempe. So there's a lot of townhouses that you can get in under the $400,000 range. Tempe also does have a couple of manufactured home parks. So if that is something you're into, and especially if you're 55 and older, uh, they do have a couple, you know, age restricted communities that uh, we can get you as well. So not every house is going to be over 600,000. There are townhouse options and there are some condo options here in the Tempe area. Uh, you guys know I love golf courses, so we got to touch on a couple. The Arizona Grand, it's technically in Phoenix, but uh, we got to touch on it. It's a really, really, really cool course with amazing views, amazing mountain views. And that is right here. Anybody can play it. Uh, it is kind of a uh, target golf course. So it's not my favorite, but the views are spectacular. And if you need a good spot to play, um, definitely go check out the area in Arizona Grand. Uh, Ken McDonald, this is a city young course, full 18, uh, really, really solid course, really solid, really good condition. Um, and they have a really nice practice facility as well. Uh, it's super fun. You can kind of hit it anywhere. It's more of a parkland style versus desert. So uh, it's definitely one of my favorite and is consistently in my rotation of golf courses that I like to play. And that's about it for Tempe golf courses. They don't have a ton just because of how small 
you know, the Tempe, Arizona area is. But some other things to do, you do have this mall, Arizona Mills, right off of the 10 and the 60. And one really cool thing that they have is the Legoland Discover area. If you are into Legos, you've got to go check out the Legoland area. I collect Legos, and uh, so this is just one spot. It is really, really cool, and it's a huge, massive store. So great place. If you love Legos or you have kids or cousins or nephews that love Legos, uh, take them to the Legoland Discovery here at Arizona Mills. But another, you know, just a big shopping mall that uh, Tempe has to offer as well. Now, if we go further south, uh, Tempe does have a ton of major shopping, you know, kind of all over. You saw the Tempe Marketplace in the northeast part of town. You saw the Arizona Mills in the northwest. And then kind of in the south, this is more, you know, just a collection of outdoor malls. Here they got the Costco. Um, obviously, they got, you know, Ikea, Gulf Galaxy. They have all kinds of different stores down here in this uh, southwest part of Tempe. And this southwest and south southern part of Tempe, this is where you get, you know, a little bit newer style homes. You get a little bit larger lots. And these are these are big, big, big houses down here, you know, south of Elliott kind of as you transition into the southern part of Chandler. So uh, this is where most of the larger single, fa single family homes are is in the southern part of Chandler. Uh, just some other things to do that Chandler has to offer. You have uh, Kiwanis Park and I play volleyball here, sand volleyball here every Tuesday evening. So it's really, really cool. They have all kinds of different stuff at this this park. They got a nice little outdoor lake that you can walk around and uh, just a lot of greenery throughout. Um, you know, they have covered cooking areas where you can come and hang out and grill out with, the, you know, your large family. And so there's just a ton to do. You got softball fields, batting cages. They got a rec center here with a pool. Um, so they got all kinds of different things here at Kiwanis Park. It's really cool. They got an amazing playground that's uh, right next to the sand volleyball courts. So there's always something going on here in the Kiwanis area. Now, a couple other outdoor activities that uh, you can do here in Tempe. So as you can see, you know, it is kind of gridlocked. So the, there's not a ton of hiking in Tempe per se, outside of that A Hill that we talked about earlier and uh, up in the Southern part of Papago. But the nice thing is that you are so close to one of the nation's largest outdoor parks in South Park. So you can, and this is actually where when we first came down and visited, uh, my wife and I, we ended up at a random hike here. Uh, again, I don't know how we ended up here, but uh, this was one of the hikes that we did. And uh, just really, really cool. You get an amazing view of the rest of the city and uh, just a really, really good spot. And it's relatively easy hikes. There's all kinds of different trails that go through here on the east side of South Mountain. But got to mention it because of how close it is to Tempe. So, you know, Tempe really does have a lot to offer. There is more than just the uh, Arizona State University. The Coyotes are planning on building a huge entertainment district. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Coyotes are the professional hockey team down here in Phoenix. So they are planning on building a huge, huge complex here in the northwest part of Tempe. Uh, they're kind of fighting right now with the city. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, how that all plays out. But there are plans for that to come down here to Tempe. Another really good thing that uh, you can do and check out if you're here in the area is the Tempe Center for the Arts. It's a state-of-the-art facility. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, so if you like, you know, and you like the performing arts and uh, that is something that you're into, uh, they do have a really magnificent, magnificent uh, theater here in Tempe. So that's about it, guys, for the map video. Tempe is a lot simpler and a lot smaller than most of the other cities here in the Valley. But we did cover, you know, most of it of where, you know, what goes on in the northern half versus the southern half, all the things to do and uh, all your entertainment options here in Tempe. So if you haven't checked it out, I do have a vlog where I go on the streets and uh, kind of walk you through what Tempe has to offer, what it looks like, and uh, all the different things to do that we mentioned here in this video, guys. So if you do, if you like this video, make sure you like and uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you're always notified that new content has come out. And also comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts of uh, what you think of A, this video, uh, B, maybe, you know, videos that you want to see in the future and what you think of Tempe, Arizona. If you've lived here, if you're thinking about moving here, um, anything like that. So comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts um, outside of that, guys. Thank you for watching. I look forward to providing you more content that uh, helps you make a decision if moving to Phoenix is right for you. And we'll catch you on the next video.